my connection. Okay, now we're alive. Hey, Hi happy guys. 2021. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We've seen each other. We've been tested. We've said it every time. We've been tested yes. multiple times yes. since we've been back. Um, I was in Colorado. Where were you? I was in snowy New Jersey, East Coast. Mm, I was in snowy Colorado. It was snowy. Yeah. How was your holiday? Uh, it was amazing. I got to spend um, some time with family, and um, I went into New York for a little bit, and it was fun. So much, so much fun. Okay, but you were safe, right? Going to New York. Very safe. Yes, very safe. I mean, everybody is like bundled up in New York anyway. You got your masks, which I find are really helpful, especially like during in cold weather. It actually like keeps my face warm. So, so yeah, I know. I agree with you. Actually, it's actually been cold. Here. What is that? <laughs> you told me notifications. Mean. Let's just stop that. I... Eric's getting a call from Dean Carpenter. So, I don't... Dean Carpenter, stop calling Eric right now. Okay, I don't. That's not right. And now. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, talk about your segment hobby. of our show today while Eric goes back live. Um, if it, if anyone calls again, please don't call. <laughs> oh my God, why are people calling? What? Do uh, we, we, I, I, I was <laughs> trusting you. Move over. I like. I you feel like we over. need a technical specialist <sighs> on our show. If anybody right? wants to be our tech person, <laughs> just text us because we clearly are not good at that. Okay, let's get into the show. We're good. With, I'm good with fashion. You're good with coffee. Okay. Well, welcome to another <laughs> coffee and fashion. Yes, um, we're so excited to be here, and today we're going to be talking about women-owned businesses, but I think that, um, actually, Eric, you were telling me about something that you're going to be doing tomorrow, so I just wanted, I yeah. wanted to give you a quick plug. Thank you. Okay, so I'm really excited. I am doing a new gig. It's on an app called Shop Shops, mm -hmm. like Shop Shops, singular plural. Shop Shops. Shop Shops. So download it. It's super cool. It's a pretty new um, live um, all right, sorry I was just saying, on an app, live stream app for shopping live, which is really cool. So tomorrow I'm going to be in the Marnie Boutique in LA and just download it. It's totally cool. You can interact with me. You can shop mm -hmm. live. You can ask me questions. It's super cool. So I, you're like a personal shopper live, right? You're showing people what's in stores. Well, I like to call myself a stylist. Um, okay. Move over a little. You know how I like you close to me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, sorry. Um, I am a stylist, yes, but I'm going to be in stores, and I'm also going to be mm -hmm. doing it. This is. I'm really excited about this part too. I'm going to be doing it at the outlets um, in Cabazon, which is near Palm Springs, and I love the outlets because they have all the best designer places at discounts. So check me out. Thanks for the shout out. Okay. Um, okay, so let's get into our show. Yeah, so we are talking today about um, women-owned businesses, and I know I wanted to do this because. I just, I'm just gonna tell them a little spiel about this, is that, listen, the fact of the matter, Jing, is that if you're a male, and you're Caucasian, and mm -hmm. you're straight, you have a big advantage in this world still. And that's just, and I'm two of those three things. <laughs> so, and I know this. I'm none of those, it. so. You're none of those things, but it's, it's true. So I, I, we just love the idea of um, women-owned businesses mm -hmm. to plug them and to talk about them, and so we were both on board with this. I'm yeah, excited to absolutely. talk about it. So, uh, we're going to get started with coffee. Yay. So, I made us just a standard latte. I know you don't really drink caffeine, but maybe you can just, for this one time, have a little sip. Wait, but I just want to tell people that um, I love coffee. It's not that I don't love coffee. And the only thing is, is that I get crazy on it. So, mm -hmm. it's not that I don't like Crazier it. than you normally are. <laughs> like, literally crazier than... All my friends are like, don't have caffeine. <laughs> or if I start getting like, ugh. So, it's not like... I love... Like, I'm yep. like... I'm like... Like, in the closet coffee person. Oh, so, it's I not like, like I don't love coffee. In the closet coffee addict. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is... So, I made it just like a very, very like standard latte. I got a new Breville um, barista machine. I'm so excited. My, I feel like my espresso is good, but my latte art is like... Like to be desired. It's really pretty. <laughs> and if anybody doesn't know what a Breville is, it's like, it's pretty up there, right? Yeah. And they've yeah. been around for a long time. They've been around. They're just, like, I find that all, they're based in, uh, they're based in Australia. And I just find that, like, their kitchen tools, they don't make just um, espresso makers, but they also, espresso machines, but they also do a lot of other kitchen where um so I, I just love them like it's amazing. it's pretty too it's just nice to have something to look at on your counter that looks like art yeah so, so i might actually next time i'll just so my what right are now. you so you're you said your espresso game is good your cat your latte game is not great well i mean my latte game is good i 
just don't think my foamed art is like quite there yet. So if you but, guys have any tips, shoot them my way. But can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Like ultimately, it's about how it tastes, not how it looks. So I'm kind of like over yeah. the flour and the whatever you get. I'm like, if it's a good, cause I'll have a decaf latte yeah. with oat milk any day. And so, but when I get that little design, I'm like, everybody does it now, it's cute, yeah. I guess. Am I being just really silly about that? Guys, let us know, what do you think? I mean, I would Am I jaded? agree and disagree with you because I think like as a chef too, you know, when you go to a restaurant, like you eat with your eyes first, right? If you're presented this like beautiful plate of like flowers. You stuff. eat with your eyes. I love you do, that. It's, right? I, I I haven't heard that expression. Yeah. It sounds dirty. <laughs> I mean, I think like you you're given a little bit more leeway with coffee. Like if it doesn't look beautiful with like okay, a, let me tell you a my tulip or something. Let me I just tell you my analogy yeah. for this, Jing. Is okay. like you know I don't know. They still do it sometimes in the olden days of the, with desserts, and you do that like they do that whole. Thing with the the coolie on it, or oh, the, yeah. and I'm like, oh, stop! I just want the dessert. I don't yeah. need the whole like art. I want but like, what if it like looks like really shitty when it, they present it, right? You're well, like, of course uh... I, want to look, I don't want to look horrible, but yeah, yeah. no, I can see both points. But um, I wanted to just mention that the coffee beans we were using is from a female-owned business, and they are called. I'm gonna bring this up close. Uh, espresso yourself, okay, and. Let me just actually open this up. So they do both coffee subscription boxes and wellness boxes and coffee and wellness boxes together. So what does the wellness part mean? Do you know? It is. Okay. So let me show you the coffee first. But the wellness like, is like... Like does it exercise for you? It's like beauty It's like beauty products, oh, healthy cool. products for that. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like things you can add to coffee or other um, alternative drinks and also just like wellness, you know, skincare and like I love that combination. Things that, yeah, things that are good. And where are they based, you know? They are actually based in Los Angeles. So yeah. shout out to hometown Los Angeles. Uh, not my, well, I guess my hometown now. Mm -hmm. hometown it is. is actually a town of my New Jersey. But been, I would I say want, LA before New Jersey. Oh, I, I think so too. Okay. So I want to show you guys exactly what this looks like. Okay. So when you open it, I only I only have a coffee subscription box. So it'll be a little bit bigger if you do the coffee and um, wellness box together. So look at that caffeine queen. Are you going to open the thing because you're just showing them like a sticker? I know, I am opening okay, it well, like, This yeah, is like sorry. a slow unboxing. Okay, I get it. Okay, you can focus on your own unboxing later. <laughs> okay, espresso yourself. And what I love about this brand is one, it is, first of all, this brand itself is female owned, but also what they feature is, they all feature female owned coffee brands, okay? So this is a woman owned business and they are, it's a Colombian, um, it, the beans are roasted in, um, sorry, the beans are from Colombia, and it's female-owned, and the name is called Taza Magna. Wait, so you're saying that not only is Espresso Yourself female-owned, mm -hmm. yep. but the where they get the coffee from yep. is female. They focus on female entrepreneurs. They focus on... So it's females on, for females. Females for I females. I love that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Sorry, I like butchered that a little bit. Um, but anyway, I use these beans, and it's a medium roast, um, a little bit medium to high acidity and it's well you tell me I, I'm gonna tell you the notes about it later but you tell me how it okay. tastes I'm gonna move over you know I okay. get freaked okay. I don't like when you're not close to me yeah okay <laughs> this is our friendship okay I like it because I don't like coffee that's super strong and yeah. it's very smooth I would say yeah it has a very it doesn't taste acidic -y. It doesn't, right? No. Okay. No, it's a very, it's just a very almost comforting, really, uh, not middle of the road meaning boring, middle of the road meaning like just not overwhelming with the coffee-ness yeah. of it, which I really like. I like that smoothness. It's, I feel like actually, it says it's medium to high acidity, notes of raw sugar and chocolate, but I actually feel like it's pretty smooth. It's not that, it's not that acidic. Okay. I think it also has to do with the oat milk that we added. You know you can always count on me for stupid, not stupid questions, but you know yeah. I'm like an idiot when it comes to coffee. That's why yeah. I love doing this with you. So here are some of my questions. Okay. Acidity. What causes acidity in coffee beans? What does it mean? And do you want low or well, high or does it matter? Uh, it's interesting because it's actually like it's a flavor profile. Hmm. So a lot of it depends on like the bean and also depends on how they roast it, right? 
So lighter roasts actually tend to have like higher acidity and darker roasts. But if will it has higher less. acidity, does that mean when it upsets your stomach more, do you think? Or not necessarily? Not I mean it's funny because I feel like I've sort of struggled with this and I've kind of learned a lot in the process. But it for me it's more of a flavor profile at this point, you know? They do say like if you are very um sensitive to like acidic foods or acid, then maybe go with a darker roast. Oh, that makes sense. But it also depends, right? Like some beans, it's better to have a darker roast than some beans. Some beans, you know, it's better to do a medium roast and I'm gonna to tell you, this roast. is how sensitive I am to caffeine. It's already like I already feel like I'm like, ooh, I oh, want yeah. I want a mumbo. Like <laughs> okay. I'm ready to go. So Eric is done with his latte for now. No, I'm, uh, this is um, good. Yeah. Is so, it Friday yet? <laughs> what day is today? Today's Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so that was that question. Yeah. So t anyway, typically um, lighter roasts tend to have a higher acidity because when you roast it, when it's a darker roast, it tends to stay in the roaster a little bit longer, so it'll lose a lot of the coffee oils. And, okay. So yeah. my other question is that it was the acidity, and it was some other question is that mm -hmm. I'll tell you I have some stupid questions. So oh, wait, hold on. I want to just say someone. Miss you, Eric. Okay. Cappuccino versus latte. <laughs> Why? I feel like lattes are way more like, I feel like more people order lattes now than cappuccinos. Yeah, like, I, what do you prefer? What's the difference? I think it's just, I think it's preference. I think it's trends. I know in Europe, like a cappuccino is very, still one, really it's popular. One foam and one milk. Is that it? They're both, I mean, they're both, um, they're both with, uh, steamed milk, but okay. cappuccino, you're gonna get a lot more foam. They, when they foam the milk, they make extra foam on top, so they'll pour a little bit of milk in, and then they just like take a spoon and put a wallop of um, foam on top. So I remember in in the old get close for me. Okay. You keep like and lattes you, you are a little up. bit smoother. They're more like the milk and the espresso is more integrated. And I remember in the olden days way back that my parents used to love a cappuccino and I had never heard of a latte no. and it was all about a cappuccino because it was like very like Italian like going to a Italian restaurant and like having a cappuccino after but I yeah. feel like I feel like my friends don't have cappuccinos now yeah I don't know maybe it's just like a trendy thing like maybe Europeans like it more like here the lattes are I mean with a cappuccino you can't definitely cannot do the latte art you're okay. not gonna be able to like see those beautiful hearts and tulips and right. swans okay. and that. everything so maybe that's part of the reason okay then what do you call here. maybe they're just called shots but what are like the shot like the espresso shots Mm -hmm. There's a shot. Like I want to use. Yeah, you can. I just want a shot of espresso. Do a single what's shot the, of espresso. Is that is shot. that like, is that like a like a legal drug? Like why do people get a like shot? A, like a tequila shot or a la vodka shot? Yeah, like <laughs> so, I mean, I've seen people get like a double shot of espresso, and I'm like. Sounds crazy. It is. I mean, I think also it depends on your coffee preference, right? Some people like black coffee, coffee black, just nothing in it. Some people just like to take a shot of espresso and that's all they need. You know, they don't need this like fancy drink, this like tall fancy drink. The shot of espresso is pure, you know, pure coffee and they're on their way. Good to go for the day, you know? I, well, listen, I, this is really good. Oh, I don't know if you should drink anymore, Eric. <laughs> you know what? You opened this Pandora's box, so, okay. Mm. So I want to, I'm sorry, one more thing I wanted to mention yes. about um, Espresso Yourself is that for February, if you order their box, um, their theme, they have a different theme every month, and their theme for February is bold and beautiful, and they are focused especially on women black owned businesses. I love that. So yeah, take a look at their site, EspressoYourselfStore.com and um, let us know. I really enjoyed this, um, so thank you. Thank you Alana for giving us this product as well. I so. might not get this for me, but I would get this for a gift for somebody, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so my um, women own business yep. shout out today is I discovered from a friend of mine, um, again, based in LA, woman-owned business. She started, I think, out of her garage, mm -hmm. and they're jumpsuits. And jumpsuits are tricky for a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um, first off, it's called Rivet Utility. So look them up on Instagram. How do you spell that? Rivet, R-I-V-E-T, mm -hmm. Utility. Look them up on Instagram, follow them, um, or look them up, just, you know, they have a website. And I'm gonna show you some in a second, but yeah. what I love about them are a lot of things. She just started her garage, 
they're made in LA, made in the USA. You know, once upon a time, especially in LA, we had so much manufacturing here for clothing. Mm -hmm. So much of it has gone overseas. And I just feel like it would be so nice to get that back yeah. for a number of reasons. Jobs here, um, we had the infrastructure for mm -hmm. the manufacturing here. Yeah. And so these are, jumpsuits are really great. So I'm gonna oh, show I, you. Oh, I love it. I know, I love this color. So this is one of them. This is a corduroy oh, one. close, yeah. This is a corduroy one. I love this. So let me just talk to you about a little bit about sustainability. Sustainability is a very catch-all phrase that could mean a lot of things. Agreed, but let me just back up quickly. So this, tell me more about this brand and sustainability before you go into it. Well, that's what I'm getting oh, into. Okay. That That's what I'm getting into right okay. now is that sustainability can be about how things are made, where they're made, the waste, how they're shipped, mm -hmm. you know, the material can mean a lot of things, but it can, for fashion, it could also mean a school of thought about, you know, shifting your mind about fast fashion, which I'm not a big fan of, quite frankly. Okay, it's, I'm gonna ask a stupid question now because I'm the newbie here. What is fast fashion? Fast fashion is, without naming any brands, because I don't really want to call them out, but you know a lot of them out there, it's inexpensive, they're, they're a lot of times made overseas in certain mm -hmm. places. They're not made great. They're highly produced fast. They're mm -hmm. fast. They call it fast fashion because a lot of times people just wear it and a couple times then they dispose of it. Ah, so they're we, like cheap materials and they're kind of like trend chasers or something like that? Yeah, it could be all that. And I don't mind the trend part, but the thing is, is that it's the landfill issue. Mm. You don't want to... Um, we don't want to put clothes in landfill. So sustainability is a way to shift about investment shopping. Buy less, buy better. So this is why I love Rivet Utility because this is not fast fashion prices. They, they range from about $350 to $495. And I know that's a lot for a lot of people, but if you're investing in something yeah. like this, it's supposed to last for 20 years. I love that. So then if you amortize it over time, yeah. it makes sense. And I like it because it, you know, it works on a lot of, here's one, I'm going to show you another one. That's a corduroy one. This is a silk one, oh my which gosh. is super that cool. That is luxury. It's really cool. That's a navy silk. Um, jumpsuits are great. You can wear them with flats, with sandals. You can wear them with tennis shoes. You can wear them with a heel. They're very versatile. I love them with the sleeve rolled up. Yeah. Feels um, like all four season too. They're well, very four season. Mm -hmm. And um, so that she uses, um, Rivet Utility uses uh, Japanese cotton. They use organic cotton. Now, I don't want to get comments. I know there's a lot of people that say, and it's true, cotton, a lot of people think isn't you know sustainable all the time. Organic cotton is better. Japanese cotton is super cool. Um, she used a lot of different fabrics, for sure. That was a navy oh. silk. This is, um, I think, the first one that she did. It's like a black cotton one that's kind of a heavy. It's a really, really cool. Oh, I love it. These comments are coming through. I'm just going to read some of them. Well, um, let's see. Someone, Kala612, said, worth it. Devin D said, best company. Yeah. It's so uh, great. Looks at, sounds like a lot of you actually know about this company. Now, also, yeah. um, I also wanted to tell you that this is an example I'm going to show you of, I'm going to show you jumpsuit of somebody who's 5'4 next to somebody who's 5'11. And surprisingly, it works. She didn't get it altered, the short girl. This is, oh, I think is my it? friend oh. Sarah and her friend Elaine. And they're 1's 5'1, one, 1'5'11. One, one, and I mean, look at the difference, and they look fabulous on both um, on both women. I just love the story. I love yeah. that she started in her garage. Yeah. I love that, you know, it's made in L.A. They're made by a really good um, sewers in downtown L.A. The quality is amazing. And, and I it, just realized, I love it. Both of our brands are made in L.A. I know, I didn't know that. Yeah. I actually love that. And, you know, women-owned brands and yeah. sewn by women, which yeah. I love. Um, I mean, she sources my, their espresso person sources from around the world, of but course, she's based in LA, sense. the company is based in LA. But again, going back to a jumpsuit, it's yeah. just perfect for that mindset of like yeah. COVID that we're in and just moving past that, it's just really versatile. They're so comfortable. And obviously it, it actually is one of those garments that actually works on everybody. I was gonna ask you like, can you make it, can you make it casual and can you also dress it up, right? Yeah, like I said, you can wear it with like 
a sneaker and then roll it up mm -hmm. or you can it's about the how you accessorize it the silk one obviously is a little dressier because it's innately dressy with silk yeah and you put on a pump with it and it's really cute you can add like a belt with it it's all about how you accessorize it so it. check out rivet utility i really love them um I, I really I really am excited to see more what they do. They have short sleeve ones too, I didn't show you by the way. All different colors, patterns, really fun. Yeah. That's you would look adorable in a jumpsuit. Oh. You would rock it. You I, I don't even think do I own any jumpsuits? You need, you, you need a okay. you need a rivet. I need to I need to You need a rivet utility jumpsuit for I sure. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a couple of questions about yes. this. So in terms so they focus on jumpsuits. Do they do any other things? No. As, right so now it's just, it's one... just a jumpsuit. Okay. Yeah. So I, I like that. I like it because yeah. I, I like jumpsuits are really, focused on pretty like one universal. product and they do it right. And they you know? do it right. It's the quality. It's the cut. Those are important. Believe me, jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. There's some quote on my Instagram. Let's get that, closer. Oh, thank you. You're um, <laughs> you're like, it's like you're always like, um, as a quote, one of my himalisms on my Instagram account says, yeah. um, jumpsuits are a privilege, not a right. Ooh, I love like that. But this is the first time. Let's look at it. Let's look at it again. This is the first time that I found a jumpsuit company that's like, it's really actually super cute. I mean, this silk one, I actually love that. Love it. And one of um, my little stylist tips for mm -hmm. jumpsuits or pants in general yeah. is if you want a leaner look, yeah. you can always get the leg tapered a little. Ah. Sometimes it, sometimes um, it's good. It's nice to do that. When you say tapered, just means like kind of slim at the bottom. Yeah, it's really easy. From the yeah. knee down, you just taper it a little. It gives you a little bit more of an elongated look. But, um, oh, that does remind me. Mm -hmm. Another question I had about jumpsuits in particular, maybe why I'm not like a newbie to them, is that how do you, because you know, women, embracing women are of all body types, what are some tips you can give as like a stylist to make sure that it fits you? I know you said belt to cinch the waist, but even when you're um, picking sizes and things like that, what are some things to just keep in mind? I think the key for a jumpsuit is, I don't like when they're too tight. I know this sounds very general and clothes in general, mm -hmm. but really for a jumpsuit, I don't like it too tight. Yeah. And I don't like it too loose, especially like this, it can look, start to go into that like um, mechanic look, a jumpsuit. Oh, um, you know, which is like a car mechanic, like yeah. a garage mechanic. Yeah, no, which is like, I like that this has a little like, yeah. like a little wink to it, like a little, hmm, like it's cute, but like you yeah. don't want to take that too far where you're like, holding a wrench instead of a <laughs> instead of a handbag. Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> well, that's probably what, where she got it, right? Rivet yeah. utility. I mean, oh. I, yeah, I th I'm sure that was inspiration. I mean, Wait, is, was that inspiration? Anyone know? Rosie the Riveter, I'm sure. Let us let us know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so anyway, check it out. Um, okay, so what do you have coming up? Uh, no, is there anything you want to talk about? <laughs> no, I mean, I think I think this is good. We'll keep our show nice and short for our um, for our audiences, and I think we are just kind of trying to figure out like fun new ideas for our next show. So if yeah, you if have it, any brands or ideas, send them our way. We're yeah, if there's anything to... you want to see in yeah. the coffee realm or in the fashion realm, see examples, hear examples, talk about anything like that. Just like contact us, DM us. Yeah. Um, on either of our accounts. But yeah. let's end with our, I thought it'd be fun to end with New Year's resolutions. Yes. Okay. Are you going to go first or am I going to go first? Okay. You go first. Okay. okay. I think I about mean, mine. <laughs> my, you're like, I think, I mean, I don't want to sound like cheesy or anything, but my, my resolutions are always a little abstract, like in the sense that I feel like patience mm -hmm. is always something I'm trying to achieve more. Yeah. Patience with just people. Yeah. Patience. patience with me. You should have seen Eric at the start of our show. Wish I, I caught the I know, I am, blooper reel. I am very <laughs> impatient with you. It's, but it's because like, you're like a sister, that's why. Okay, that's I think fair. it's just like, I just think patience and kindness. Yeah. Things like that. I know it's general, but I don't think you can have too much of that. I agree. And actually, thank you very much. That helped me. That was a good thought starter. Uh, I think my New Year's resolution is to actually incorporate uh, mindfulness and meditation back into my life. Um, I feel like it, it comes in and out and sometimes I just I don't leave room for it But then I find myself being more anxious and crazed through the day when I'm trying to get a lot done And sometimes just sitting down in the morning for 10 minutes to just empty my mind and you know focus on my intentions for the day 
uh, actually changed my energy throughout the day. So. I mean, just you speaking about it, I felt like I went into yeah. a very calm state. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I've now calmed you down from all that caffeine. You so. could, I think you could be like you could be like my yogi or my guru or my yeah. whatever, whatever that's called. That would be great. Yeah. I kind of love our bright colors, by the way, oh, how we match. Like, I'm feeling oh, very you happy. you told me to wear teal last time. I did. So if you guys tuned into the last show, I took Eric's advice. He gives really good advice for clothes. Fashion advice, for yeah. sure. Anyway, um... Download Shop Shops. Check me out tomorrow night, yes. 5 to 7 Pacific time. Yeah. Um, You're going to be shopping in LA, right? Yeah, live at Marty Boutique in LA. But yeah, even, go even going forward, I'm going to be doing a lot of them um, yeah. starting tomorrow. And you're going to really be doing important. outlets too, right? Outlets, mm -hmm. stores, everything. You outlet can send them all of your annoying questions. Designer outlets um, and Cabazon near Palm Springs. So check me out. Anyway, um, so great seeing you again. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys for, for tuning, tuning in. in. And we will... See you next month. All right. If anyone wants to volunteer to be our technical specialist, that uh, also know. send us a DM. <laughs>